Fishing is uh, a real big activity here. Actually, 25% of the sports fishing that happens on the Texas Gulf Coast occurs here in the Ranzas Bay system. At Goose Island State Park, fishing is the main attraction. You're usually always catching something, and you really don't know what species you're going to get, because you never know. This was our big prize, I guess, the redfish. 18. He's a keeper. And speckled trout. Considering its small size, just 321 acres, Goose Island State Park is an interesting mix of habitats. The island itself is a combination of tidal flats, salt marsh, and grassland. The mainland area of the park is covered with live oaks, with small patches of coastal prairie. We also happen to be the uh, closest public campground to the Ranzas National Wildlife Refuge and which, of course, is the winter home for the endangered hooping cranes. Goose Island State Park is also home to one of the state's largest trees. Known as Big Tree, this oak is over 1,000 years old. Well, every time we come down here, we go to the Big Tree because it's, it's something unusual, and you know, I don't know. I, it, it just keeps bringing me back. Over the years, Goose Island has gotten smaller. Since 1969, about 25 acres of marsh have been washed away by the winds and waves. And this is valuable wildlife habitat, particularly for birds, and it's also nursery habitat for our commercial and recreationally important fishery species. Construction of an offshore breakwater will protect the eroding shoreline and two man-made marsh cells behind the island will add almost 25 acres of emergent marsh. One of the benefits of doing this kind of project in a state park is that we know that that habitat will be protected in perpetuity and that the public will be able to enjoy it and have access to it. Ever since I've been a little kid, been coming out here. It's relaxing. One of these days we might get lucky and catch a fish. Whether you're camping or fishing or bird watching, Goose Island State Park has one thing that makes it all a little more relaxing, the sound of water lapping at your door. It's a great place to go sit out behind your campsite and enjoy the Gulf breeze and maybe catch a fish while you're sitting out there. 